This video demonstrates how to perform the pole detection procedure for Yaskawa's family of white painted food grade motors and hygienic stainless food grade motors. Hi, I'm Matt Pelletier. Here's a quick preview. First, set PN080 to 1, then use the polarity detection function, which moves the motor just a little and sets those pole positions. Now let me go through a demonstration in a little more detail. I'm set up here with a food grade motor and everything is wired to the matching servo pack, which also has the food grade motor option. I'm connected with Sigma Win Plus version 7.42. And I have set a few preliminary parameters, including the over travels and regen resistor. Remember that on this motor, the encoder feedback is wired through the feedback option card. It is an absolute encoder, but access to the position of the magnetic poles on the rotor will be supported in a future servo pack firmware release. So we're going to use Sigma Win Plus to do that quick calibration procedure to find the position of the poles, and it will be saved into the servo pack. This is called polarity detection in Sigma Win Plus, and you see right now it is disabled, and here's why. Some motors use hull sensors to detect the position of the magnetic poles, as is selected by default in parameter PN080. And these motors don't need hull sensors, so we need to disable with setting 1. Write that in, and it says to cycle power. Software reset will work for that. First, I'll close the parameters, and I will not save the project file and do software reset. That's complete, and it says I need to reconnect. That's to refresh Sigma Win Plus. So back in the menu to disconnect, and connect again. Now in the menu, under encoder setting, polarity detection is available. As this warning explains, the motor will move. I'll press continue. And start. We see the motor move a little. Detection is complete. And that's it. We're done. Best practice is to cycle power to the servo pack after using polarity detection. So I'll do that. Real quickly, I'll use the jog function to verify motor rotation is possible, both forward and reverse. It looks good, so at this point, you can continue to commission the machine. Now to wrap it up, it is possible that polarity detection fails, and if that happens, check for conditions that could prevent the motor from moving, such as torque limits, encoder alarms, or over-travel condition. For a full list of troubleshooting solutions, please see document 13399 at our website, yaskawa.com. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please go to www.yaskawa.com.